Locals protested the survey of land for a refinery in Maharashtra's Bursu as officials reached the spot amid heavy police deployment in the area on Tuesday. The police detained those who protested the entry of vehicles to the proposed site. Since morning, the police restricted the media's entry into the plot for the proposed refinery. On Monday, the Ratnagiri police imposed Section 144 in Ratnagiri's Bursu and Solgao villages, banning large gatherings in the area. At least four anti-refinery activists were arrested, and preventive notices were issued to 45 locals opposed to the project. The police imposed restrictions on the movement of people in the 1 km radius of the spot to be surveyed. Meanwhile, the project has triggered a political whirlpool in the state. The Ratnagiri Refinery and Petrochemicals Limited, promoted by three major public sector oil companies, the Indian Oil Corporation Limited, the Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited and the Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, was originally planned in Ratnagiri district's Nana village. It was shifted to Bursu after protests from the Shiv Sena. State Industries Minister, Uday Samant, said that Uddhav Thackeray had proposed this plot for a refinery when he was Chief Minister. In a letter dated January 12, 2022, Uddhav Thackeray proposed 13,000 acres of land in Bursu to the center for the project, he said, adding, Uddhav Thackeray is changing his stance now and playing politics on the issue. He should help convince people. This project will help in developing the area. The opposition is encouraging the protesters. The leaders of the Shiv Sena, UBT, said that although the refinery was proposed by Uddhav Thackeray, it doesn't mean the locals are taken in confidence before work begins. Ahmed, the protesters are local people and do not belong to any political parties. I challenge the BJP that if this project, which will cost around 4 lakh rupees crores, will provide employment to the people, then they should hold an open discussion.